Hello everyone, this is The Question, and this is my final manga haul of the year. Um, this is my haul, of the, everything I got in December 2023. Uh, we have a bunch of pre-orders, we've got some older series, we've got some uh, a reprint that I was not expecting, and then we've got some heavily delayed volumes that finally came out. So I'm really happy to read, to get all this stuff. Um, a, good ra a good end of the year haul for me. Um, I will have uh, probably one or two more videos coming out within the net within the first couple weeks of January. I'll be doing a video featuring or talking about my 2024 collecting and manga reading goals for the year. And as part of that video, I'm also going to be doing uh, an unhauling. So I haven't done one of those on film in a while. It's been I think I only did one like maybe six months ago where I showed like some volumes that I'm unhauling. Um, so I did a sweep through of my collection, stuff that I knew I wasn't going to reread and um, some recent stuff that I didn't really care for. Uh, so instead of, you know, I'm kind of running out of space. I'm kind of going into a second room now with the amount of manga that I have. So I kind of wanted to make a sweep of stuff that I knew I wasn't going to reread. And uh, so I'll be doing a video of that. And then I'll also have my normal December reading log. So let's get right into the haul. Okay, so starting off, the first thing I picked up was from Floating World Comics. The Breakdown Press had reprinted two of, uh, I think it's Abisu Yoshikazu's releases. They reprinted this, I Wish I Was Stupid. And then they also reprinted his The Pits of Hell, which I already have the, the original version of. Um, I think these reprints are fairly identical to the original releases, but just a really nice release. Glad to finally be able to get this one for a good price. It had been going for, I think, somewhere over 50 bucks on the aftermarket. Let me see if I can turn it to a page that is appropriate. Uh, this is a very mature book. It has a warning here on the bottom, but otherwise really nice release. Floating World Comics is a US uh, store, online store that you can buy these at. Uh, Breakdown Press, you can buy them straight from them, but they, I think, are out of the UK. Uh, so it's very costly to get them shipped over to you, uh, if you, if you live in the U S so, um, but really nice release. And that was everything I got from floating world comics. I did, I got one pickup from Amazon third party this month. And that was, uh, Erica Sakurazawa's the rules of love with this volume. I think this is actually all of the Erica Sakurazawa releases by Tokyo pop. I think I now have all six of them, which I think are all we've got. We got in English. Um, so this is the last one and these are all super cheap if you're looking for something a little bit different I haven't started reading them yet. I was kind of waiting until I got them all um, But all of these are were it were a, I was able to pick all these up for less than for less than retail um, And they most of them I think are either teen or mature so kind of adult story adult romance type stories So there is that I got a shipment from Starfruit Books. So they sent me Wonder House of Horrors. Uh, this I pre-ordered, I don't know, back in like 2021 or something. Finally came out uh, maybe a month or so ago, I think is when I saw people getting it, got my copy in. Um, so they have some really nice releases. Uh, their shipping, I mean, their release schedule is just super slow. They're a very small, uh, small publisher. Um, but looking forward to checking out this one. I'm a big fan of horror releases and these are really nice releases. Uh, let's see if I can turn it to something that's not, eh, that's not too bad, uh, but really nice artwork here. Looking forward to checking that out. And directly from the Kino Kaniya online store, I picked up the uh, exclusive variant they had of Neighborhood Story. Um, so this, I, in my last month haul, I had the regular cover of Neighborhood Story, and then this one came from Kino Kaniya. So I think the only differences are the cover. So the cover on both sides is different, and then the French flaps are different. Uh, these ones have, these ones are really nice looking. Um, I actually really like both covers. The other one, you know, has a nice pink to it, uh, but this one has a nice design too. So glad to have both of them. I'm a big, big fan of the creator. A nice spine here, and that was uh, everything from Kino Kaniya. Okay, so my next uh, haul here is from, or my next stack here is from Reddit Swap. 
I hadn't purchased anything from a Reddit swap in a while. Um, and the reason why I purchased this, I had watched Colleen's Manga Rex. She had done this great video on, um, on CMX, the, the old publisher. It was a DC imprint uh, that did manga. Really fantastic video, go watch it if you haven't. And while I was watching it, it reminded me the only two CMX releases that I actually have is I have the volume uh, of Shirley that was released by CMX, uh, that is Keoro Mori. Uh, so we only got volume one of it, we never got volume two. So I have that, which obviously everything from this publisher is out of print, they've been gone for a while. And then I also have Presence Volume 1, and I do not have Volumes 2 and 3 of that. Um, and that is by Kaneko Anuki, who is a uh, horror creator. And so they released three volumes of Presence in English. Volumes 2 and 3 are super expensive. I only have Volume 1. Um, so that was all the CMX I had. So I went ahead and um, looked up some CMX series and one that kind of caught my eye was Versus. So I went ahead and got all seven volumes of Versus. This is kind of a music uh, thriller kind of mystery series. Uh, as it says here, a musical prodigy, his teacher and the dark secrets that bind them. So this one looked kind of interesting to me and it's a fairly cheap um, series. This was a fairly cheap one to get. It was um, for basically retail. We got versus one, two, some very interesting covers. And I don't know too much about this. It has decent reviews on Goodreads. Um, I know having a title like Versus makes it very hard to search for when you're trying to look for it because there's tons of stuff with just that title, including another manga series called Versus. Um, so there is that. I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Really nice spines, but yeah, I'll definitely keep my eye on for some other CMX releases. I had in my head that CMX had a lot of unfinished series, but in her video she mentioned there's actually quite a lot of um, quite a lot of stuff that that CMX released that was completed in English. So um, I'll definitely keep an eye out for more of their work. Next, I have a small stack from Barnes and Noble. Um, so we have. Uh, this month I read Centaurs and I really enjoyed it. And so I found out that that creator had done some other books, um, some, some books under a pseudonym. And so one of the releases was the Sublime series. I don't know if it's pronounced Mad K or it's just M-A-D-K, um, but I went ahead and ordered the first two volumes of that. The third volume I then pre-ordered. Uh, so this is the Sublime title, which is a BL one. Let's see if I can get a page that's not inappropriate. Yep, not too bad. Um, but I really liked that Centaurs Volume 1, so I wanted to see if there was any more work that the creator had. So I went ahead and grabbed these two. Like it says, explicit content. And the Volume 3 just came out. And then a series that I had forgotten to get the final volume of. I don't know how long ago this volume came out. I think this month. Uh, we have the Horizon Volume 3. This is, uh, I haven't really caught on with a lot of Manwa. There hasn't been a lot of Manwa that's grabbed me that I've tried, um, but people have recommended The Horizon and it's only a three volume series. So looking forward to checking this one out, see if this one uh, I enjoy, um, but really nice release here. And then Barnes and Noble had their normal ha uh, hardcover sale this year. It was 33% off instead of 50 but they did also have a rewards bonus if you were a member. And, but uh, as, when I got to the store, I realized that I pretty much have every hardcover that I, that I want. The only hardcovers that I needed was like a few volumes of For the Kids I Saw in My Dreams, and none of the stores sold those in store. Um, that was it, um, other than this random volume that I did pick up, and that was uh, St. Young Men Volume 10. I did pick up this one, and that was the only thing I picked up from the hardcover sale. I have one through nine of this series. I didn't have volume 10, which was the most recent one, I think. Um, so that was it from Barnes and Noble. Next up, we have a stack from Instock Trades. This was uh, a purchase I made during the Black Friday sale and then finally got these, most of them in like the middle of December. Uh, this was the order I said where I made this pretty big order from Instock Trades during the Black Friday sale. And then they emailed me like half of them were, weren't in stock. And so they were refunding like half of them. So um, they did send me uh, some of them though. So here we go. We have 
The Duke of Death and His Maid, Volume 9. I really enjoyed the first couple volumes of this series. Uh, I didn't realize when I was buying it that it was so long. I think this is like 16 or 17 volumes long. Um, but I did really enjoy those first uh, first couple volumes. It's a very cute um, series. Uh, and so there is Volume 9. I ordered a random cat manga that I did not have, and that is Fuku Fuku Kitten Tales Volume 1. Um, I don't know how long, I think this volume came out quite a while ago and we never got any more volumes. Like it says, this is by the creator of Cheese Sweet Home, um, but we never got any more. This is published by Vertical, and so there is that. We have The Darwin Incident Volume 2. I enjoyed Volume 1 enough, um, so grabbed Volume 2. I have some random volumes of O oh Maidens in Your Savage Season. I think I had put on here all the ones that I was missing because I only have two volumes of this, um, but they only had in stock volumes one and then volume eight. So now I have one, three, four, and eight. Um, so I think eight is the final volume, yeah. So I'm about halfway through, um, halfway through getting that. And then I also had put in a bunch of volumes of Something's Wrong With Us and um, some of them were out of stock, but they did send me some of them. So this is another series I'm looking to get caught up on and read. I'm really excited to check this one out. So we have volume six, volume seven, volume eight, volume 14, and volume 15 and so i already had four volumes so i think again this puts me in about halfway uh through this series um for me to be able to get it i know it's ongoing with like a blog stuff or kind of post uh the regular story stuff uh is still going on now um but yeah so that's all i got from in stock trades okay i have one stack of stuff from crunchyroll which were right stuff pre-orders I am finally getting down to where I think I only have about 15 volumes still pre-ordered from Right Stuff that, um, that, that are still waiting to come to me. And most of them are stuff that's been delayed. So it's like March through June is when these releases, the next releases are supposed to be coming. And then I have another about 15 or so volumes of old stock from Right Stuff, like old stuff that was out of print that you could order from Right Stuff that I still have orders up for, like the few remaining volumes of Natsume's Book of Friends that I never got in, uh, a few volumes of Real that I never got. So some stuff like that, I Am a Hero. I think I, I have a few volumes of that um, ordered back when you can order them from Right Stuff. So those orders are still open. I don't know if those will ever get fulfilled, if ever they reprint that stuff. But, um, but yeah, down to about 15 pre-orders from, from Crunchyroll. I'm not going to pre-order from them anymore, so, um, but like I said, most of it's stuff that was delayed, so it'll be a while before I'm completely done with Crunchyroll. Uh, here's the stack of pre-orders they sent me this month. So we finally got Happy Crappy Life Volume 2. This was heavily delayed, Den Pro release. Uh, so I finally got this one. I'm not going to show anything in here because this is a very inappropriate uh, book. I did enjoy the first one, even though it is very weird, um, but here's Volume 2. We have the HP Lovecraft's The Shadow Over Innsmouth uh, by Gotenabe. Gotenabe. Uh, this is a really thick one compared to the previous ones. Uh, I really love these releases. They are just very small, so it's really kind of hard to appreciate how good his artwork is um, with how small these pages and panels are. But if you haven't heard, we are getting a deluxe edition of um, In the Mouth of Madness, I think is the title. Uh, so I will be selling off my small copies of that and getting that deluxe edition. Hopefully we get the rest of his series uh, or the rest of uh, his adaptations released in those deluxe edition volumes because fantastic artwork in these. Have a new series, My Dog is a Death God, Volume 1. This one just looked interesting to me. Decided to give it a shot. It is a new Seven Seas. It says manga on it, so I assume this was originally a light novel. That's usually how that works. We have a final volume, Exekuza and Stray Kitten, Volume 4. I read Volume 1 of this and wasn't too impressed, but uh, I knew it was a short series and I love cats, so I was going to give it a shot. So we'll see. I'll, get, I'll go ahead. Now that all four volumes are out, I'll, re I'll read through the whole series and see how it, how it holds up. 
We have Die Dark Volume 6 by Q Hayashida. Uh, fantastic artwork in this series. These are really nice releases. Blood on the Tracks Volume 15 by Shuzo Oshimi. Um, we are getting near the end of this series. I have not read past like Volume 4 or 5. Waiting for it to complete to read through. Um, so looking forward to this. I love Shuzo Oshimi's work. We have My Summer Review Volume 3. This is a BL high school series, I'm pretty sure, from the first two volumes. Uh, this one's fairly thick, um, and I don't know if this is going to end up being the final one, um, but, um, you know, the, the first one was good. Looking forward to checking out more of these characters. We have a one-shot, a new um, all-in-one, The Secret of Friendship. Really nice artwork here. Looking forward to checking this one out. Very unique art style. A new series. We have I Married My Female Friend, Volume 1. Uh, new Yuri series. Uh, another omnibus. We have Don't Call It Mystery, uh, 5 and 6 by Yumi Tamura. Looking forward to reading this series for the first time. Here we had a Christmas themed cover, um, but these are really nice releases. And then the final uh, pickup was Beyond the Clouds Volume 5. So this is a really interesting series. Um, I didn't realize this Volume 5 was the final volume. The, uh, this series was one of the very first series that I started collecting when I got into, when I got back into reading manga. Uh, this is one of the first, volume one of this series was one of the first volumes that I checked out and uh, really enjoyed it. Really has a nice Studio Ghibli vibe to it. Um, really cute, at least that first volume was. Um, but then the, few, the following volumes were like really spread out. So um, it's been a few years and, uh, but uh, yeah, now that this fifth volume's out, I'm looking forward to checking it all out, to, to reading through it. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed that first volume. Beyond the Clouds says a girl who fell from the sky. Uh, very nice artwork. And that was it from Right Stuff slash Crunchyroll. Hey, and this last stack here is everything I picked up from Mary Manga. Uh, they are a smaller, I've mentioned them in my last haul video, a smaller, online uh, manga store. I've really been enjoying getting pre-orders from them. So I placed all my pre-orders for November and December from them. And um, so here's what I got. Uh, I have one series here that was not a pre-order. This was a series that was already out that I ordered from them. Um, I think I ordered this during the Black Friday sale, um, but it is uh, failed. It's a series I'd never heard of, but it had good reviews. It is a High School Yuri series. So we have Failed Princesses. So I ordered the six volumes of that. If you've read this, please let me know. Um, like I said, it had good reviews. Hadn't heard of it, hadn't seen it anywhere, um, but decided to grab it. And I assume this is completed six volumes, but I do not know. And then on to the pre-orders, we have Tsubaki Chow, Lonely Planet, Volume 5. Another great cover here. Really enjoyed what I read of the early part of this series. We have Shadow's House, Volume 5. We have a final volume, and that is Yokohama Station SF, Volume 3. I heard mixed things about this one, but I already had one and two. I figure I might as well complete it and then give it a shot and see if I'm going to enjoy it. We have Call the Name of the Night, Volume 3. I loved Volume 1. Volume 1 I gave five stars to, which is pretty rare uh, for me on a Volume 1. Um, just a really interesting series. Gives me Witch Hat Atelier vibes. Definitely uh, check, check this one out. We have the third volume of My Girlfriend's Child. The fourth volume of My Dear Friend Nokutan. Uh, Prof Otaku recommended this series. I have not started it yet, but I did pick up the first three volumes. Uh, so here's volume four. We have So What's Wrong With Getting Reborn as a Goblin, volume three. 
I've heard this series, I really enjoyed the first volume. I've heard this series starts getting a little more etchy uh, in this, starting in this volume. Um, so I'm not sure uh, how, how good this, how I'm gonna continue with this, but uh, we'll continue to give it a shot. This was one of the only like kind of Isekai uh, series that I really read and I really enjoyed that volume one. So we'll see how it goes. The Apothecary Diaries, volume 10, fantastic cover. Blue Box, Volume 7. We have Lovely Muko, The Happy Daily Life of Muko and Mr. Komatsu, Volume 3. Has a, like a, you can see there on the cover, the dog's nose kind of sticks out. Um, very interesting looking series. Heard good stuff about it. Cute dog series. Volume two of The Moon on a Rainy Night. I feel like volume one just came out, though these are coming out pretty fast. Uh, this is a Yuri series about a girl with um, a hearing with hearing issues. Um, I really enjoyed volume one. Um, I don't know why, why I keep buying these Made in Abyss releases. I have not started Made in Abyss, and then now they, they have a fifth official anthology. Um, I have not started reading the main series yet. I was kind of waiting until it was going to com complete. I thought it was already completed, um, but it is not. So they released a fifth official anthology of it. Um, so here is that. We have Last Game Volume 3. Um, this one, I don't think there's too many more of these. I think if I remember, I thought people had said there was going to be like five. Um, but looking forward to checking this out. We have a hardcover. Uh, this is a re-release of My Lesbian Experience with Loneliness, which is an autobiographical manga, and this is the special edition hardcover version. Um, if you know, this Nagata Kabai, or Kabi um, has done about five, diff five or six different of these autobiographical um, manga volumes about her uh, mental health issues and um, just kind of, and physical health issues. Um, but she, they, they did a special edition hardcover of the very first one that got released. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I, I've, I've really enjoyed all the ones of hers that I've read. Um, you know, in informative um, more than entertaining, I would say. Um, but if you like autobiographical manga, definitely check um, their worked out. Um, but yeah, so I'll sell off my uh, paperback and then uh, now I have this hardcover. We have a new one shot and that is Gold Kingdom and Water Kingdom. I've heard really good things about this one. The artwork looks really nice. This is a thick omnibus release. Artwork looks nice, looks very interesting. Looking forward to checking this one out. We have A Sign of Affection, volume seven. And then we have Wave Listen to Me, volume 10. So that was everything uh, from Mary Manga filming this video on December 31st. Uh, I actually have a Mary Manga package that was supposed to, that's gonna arrive, I think, on Tuesday. Um, so that'll be part of my January haul. Um, but that was everything for the month of December. Okay, so that was everything that I got in the month of December. If you have any thoughts, any complaints about anything I picked up, please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I am almost at 900 subscribers now. Pretty happy with that. Um, glad to, you know, that at least some people are watching this video. I really do enjoy making them. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.